All right. Uh, faced it off. Took about 30 thousands off of that. And when it goes on here, you can see, put it on. It, uh, well, I'll harden it first, then I'll polish it and put it on there, and I'll show you. The gear meshes with the little gear inside, and it's got just enough clearance, and it's not grinding. Now, before it was grinding because it was, um, I think there was uh, not enough shims in there. So I made it so I didn't have to use any shims. In case I need it, I can always take it on a service grinder and take a few thousands off the top of this and keep fitting it so it's right. But um, right now, it's looking like it's pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I just got this piece of stock out of the stock stuff. I'm going to kind of put that on there like that and heat that. Because I'm going to hold it like this while you're heating it. No. And then I'm just going to go whoop, in a bucket of water over here. And that's it. And what you get it is cherry red and water. All right. Now I'll get this so it's... I like that little purr. Okay, let me see what we got there. Alrighty. Stick it like that. Don't move. Stick it like that. I just heat it up. Now the deal is, Irv Leibowitz, you remember me mentioned him many, many times. Cherry red and water. Now I'm taking it up slow. And you're supposed to uh, draw it back. I might do that. I don't know. But she's. Coming up, we're going to just take that so it's cherry red and water. See, are you seeing that? Yeah, I guess you can. Cherry red and water. Quenching it. One of the guys I work with used to say quench. You're quenching it. I think it's quench. C-H is quench. I guess quenching would be Spanish version, I guess. I don't know. But she's starting to get up to temperature now. I'm going to turn this around a little bit, get some more on the other side. And the guys who invented these things are smart. They made them curved instead of straight. And it's coming up. And all of a sudden, she'll just start to get cherry red. And you throw that in there, that'll be hard. And I should have shown you a test before it, like run a file over it. You'd hear it like digging in. You could, maybe you could hear it, maybe you couldn't. But when I'm done with this, you're going to hear it's going to it's going to sound like glass, like it, like it's hard. That's your simplest thing. I mean, there's other kinds of tool steel, but drill rod's the easiest. Bring it up. We don't want to bring it up too fast because what will happen is you'll um, make it blister, and you don't want that to happen. Now, see, on this side, it's cherry red already. And it's starting to get there now. It takes a few minutes. I can see it like, you can't see it on this side, but you can see like something happened there. Maybe you can see a little bit like that. It's the minerals in there, whatever it is. Anyway, it's getting there. It's not ready yet. It's not cherry red yet. It's got to be cherry red. That's not cherry. Uh, starting to get cherry now. I'm just going to dunk it in a bucket of water here. No big deal. I mean, it's not rocket science here, you know? I'm getting there. I'm not totally, I'm not totally convinced that that's cherry yet. But it's pretty good. It's probably going to work it. So now what I do is get closer to the water and just keep it up till you're not losing any of the temperature. I'm spinning a little faster now. It's turning on there. Okay, here we go. Put this in there too because that's hot. Okay. Turn off the torch. Wait for a little bit. Put this away while I'm waiting. Make sure you turn off your gas. I got in the habit of years ago after it took me a bunch of uh, tanks I lost because it's slight leak here or whatever. And uh, you might make sure you turn off the tanks. All right, well, there it is. It's changed color, of course, and I'm going to polish it. I'm going to blow it off a little bit. Get the water off it. And there it is.
Now let's see. I got a file here someplace. You listen. Here. Now I'm going to go polish it and put it together. That's it. All right, now we're over here on the sharp lathe. Um, got the four jaw chuck on. Now, you can get as much as an inch and three eighths through the spindle without the collar attachment on. So, I'm inching a quarter here, roughly. It's a couple thousandths difference, some weird ass size. But, anyhow, what I'm doing here is indicating this. Now, rather than, I mean, you would say, well, I'm working over here. Why don't I just chuck it here? Well, then the butt end of it over there is going, right, right? Well, you want to try to get it somewhere, right? I mean, you know, that's the objective, right? So I put on a four jaw chuck and I use this little Irv Leibowitz method, put a scale there like that. And you can't possibly go over this because you're going to bump over the grooves and you're never going to get a good information because, you know, the going to be a gap in between. So you put the scale like that and you indicate in the scale. And I, I'm within a, about, let's see, I can't, let me see, I gotta hold that so it'll stop from moving because it's picking up on the, on the, on the, that's 1,000, that's good enough for this. I'll bring it down here and see what we got. Now over here is a little bit different because this might not be true. Let's see what it is here. Now, it's running out, but I'm gonna put the steady rest in here because this thing's gonna be, Jump it all over the place, and I don't want that. Now, don't forget, we're only just threading here, but I still don't want it to jump, so it's better to put the steady rest. I have it, put it in here, and uh, take it from there. All right, uh, I got the steady rest up here, and I'm in the middle here. You know, I'm going to be working right in this area, and the lathe carriage should pass. And if it don't, throw the lathe away, right? Should pass. Yep. So I can, I'm going to be working in here so I'm good to go. I can move this around whatever I got to do. But one thing I wanted to show you is that you put the steady rest on and tighten this up and then you loop back those off. Now what I have in here, set it off, piece of emery cloth, old emery cloth with the cloth side against, against there, against the, the diameter. And it's held by the clamping of the two halves here. This, of course, comes off. And it's held by the clamp there. And it runs around to the third jaw and stops. And what that does is it kind of holds the oil and kind of protects the surface. I just put a little whey oil on there. And uh, then I turn it on. And very slowly you come up and touch, 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 touch. A little bit of a half ass crank on there and touch that and touch that. Now, when you pull this away, that should be there, right there. And that's wobbling a little bit, but there you go. That's it. Okay. All right, now I got the um, lay tool in here. I got the gear on, the dial, which I don't really need on there, but it's on there. And I've got the handle actually turned on there backwards because I've got a tool set up here and it's against the shoulder. So I'm going to back this away. I got a zero set up here on the readout. I'm going to back this away, pull all this stuff off of here, and mark that, bump it over a couple thousand, dig in a little bit. That's going to be my, my um, a datum line for where, where I'm going to turn to. And then I'm going to turn this down a little bit, get it somewhere near size right in here. And just right on size, even, even on size, it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to cut it off. Okay, uh, ready to thread. Got the machine all set up on 20 threads per inch. I'm going to go in the back here 
right where it leaves off and just chamfer a little bit a little bit of a lead and go back down here take a just a test cut take a little bit in go any number any number CNC John Henry Yeah, just keep threading until it starts to look pointy. And I got the nut here, I'll try it. A little juice on there. Now I'll do another threading video someday. My threading video got 150,000 views. So I want to do another one a little bit clearer with a new camera. The thing's a little sticky, I haven't used it in a while. One more spring cut. Get this out of the way, give it a try. Good enough. I don't think it's going to go, but maybe. First time I checked it. Ta da! Nothing to it, my friends. Nothing to it. Only takes 50 years. All them, all them CNC people, you know, yeah, you can't do it as fast. I just did it. Time you write a program and everything else, I got the thing all done. And I'm just going to hit a little bit with the file. And uh, it'll be set. Just touch it off a little bit. Now just for the heck of it, let's try everything. Make sure it all fits. So it's done. I'm happy with that. Take all this stuff off. Take the machine apart and set up for the keyways. That's the next step and the final step.